Christian leaders need to, to recognise this is, I think, one of the biggest questions people have about the Christian faith today. It's one of the areas where people are most likely to think that Christianity is, is bad news, that it's, it's just bad for the world, is the Christian understanding of sexual ethics. So there's no way for church leaders to avoid this issue um, because it's constantly going to be talked about, it's constantly going to be asked about. So that means Christian leaders need to engage with these issues. They, we need to listen really carefully to the questions that, that people are asking us. And we need to speak into it. We, we can't afford to have no message on this. Otherwise, people are only going to be taught by the culture around them. And our culture is often much better at discipleship than we are. So there's no option to have no answer. What we need to do is to think through how can we commend the goodness of Jesus Christ to people in this area of life. The, the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So how can we taste and see that Jesus Christ is good news when it comes to human sexuality, sexual ethics, definition of marriage, all those sorts of things. If we can't do that, actually, we're gonna lose credibility seriously in our Christian witness.